Hey guys, welcome to our video today. If you're new around here, I'm Laura and this is John. And John grew up in the Philippines until he was 17 years old and then moved to the United States. He met me like seven years later. We have a video about how we met. If you want to check that out, it'll be in the cards and linked down below. You might be able to hear them sometimes in our videos. Like, on this video. <laughs> so we sent them off to play and we want to talk about something serious. So the topic for this video was sparked by a question we got from one of our viewers. So thank you. The topic is, what do we argue about the most? And so what we really want to talk about today is not necessarily all the things we argue about. Because that could be like a lot of different videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in, on this video, we just want to talk about the cost of our argument. Or what causes the most arguments, maybe, or like the reason we argue. And it's been since the beginning, so... Let's start there. Yeah. Since we got married, that has been the... Pro uh, communication has been the problem. It's, and it's not even that we don't communicate to each other. We do. We, we definitely tell each other our feelings a lot. So that's not the kind of communication we're talking about. Because I'm a Filipino, um, a lot of times I have a hard time uh, Englishing. <laughs> So there's, there are times that it's super hard for me to explain what I want her to know. Yeah. The way I actually answered this question in the comments was, John likes to not finish his sentences and I mumble. And so for each of us, we both have this weakness that causes a lot of arguments. So yeah, that's one of the things, like John will explain things kind of halfway. And so it leaves me guessing or assuming. And so I like sit there like, trying to be patient and wait for him to finish and so we can get frustrated but that's not really what we argue about actually i think it's more like we argue because i assumed something because i didn't have the whole story and so then when we realize oh we're not on the same page it causes an argument wait i thought that was mine hmm? i thought that was my problem <laughs> that you assume and yeah yeah, I guess we both do that. So, but it's oh, not. Yeah. yeah, it's not just Laura. Um, that that's my problem too, and I think, I think that's like a Filipino thing where you know we have like we listen to the first sentence and then we assume what's next, and then we're like, you know, it's like ah oh, yeah yeah that's what it is. Although it's like oh that's no that's not it. It's, yeah, I've definitely noticed that, and. I think it can be a good skill and I see where that came from because when you're learning a new language, at least for me, when I'm trying to learn Tagalog, sometimes I have to just guess what the sentence is about because I know a couple of the words and so I just kind of guess yeah. and sometimes it works out. And so that's, I think, how you guys get to that point. Mm -hmm. But then when we're having like a very serious conversation, especially when there are specific things I need you to know, mm -hmm. you can't guess, you can't assume, you have to hear it, mm -hmm. take it in. And understand it. So something I've done to cope, which might be annoying, is that like I'll repeat it three times and I'll be like, did you hear the words that I said? Repeat it back to me. It's very annoying. <laughs> but um, but it, it feels serious to me. Mm -hmm. And then at the beginning as well, he uh, when we are talking and I have an, you know, like an experience or something, she will go, okay, tell me everything word for word. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know what word for word it, you know? Well, I just feel like you leave out half the details sometimes when an experience happens and I have to wait and wait and wait to find out all the details. I just want to hear it all right then. So try and remember every word that person said to you so that I can interpret it. Because sometimes, sorry, sometimes you might assume things in a conversation with someone else mm -hmm. and I need to like let you know what they actually meant. And that's another thing that costs is are the argument is that a lot of times you know i think in my head inside my head in my inner inner in my inner self <laughs> in my uh, inner <laughs> oh my gosh how do you say that inner 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 <laughs> in my inner self you know mm -hmm. no but uh you know i think a lot and then you know i guess the the word is like the train of thought the problem is mine is like a bullet train. 
<laughs> and like you know like I'll be thinking you know like there will be an idea that will trigger me or one thing and then by the time it came comes out of my mouth the idea is already a different you know like a different thing that I that I wanted to say and so and then I will assume that Laura knows exactly what I'm talking about or thinking about and so I will just look at her and it's like you know that guy and she'll be like what <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes you'll just start by the second half of the sentence and you'll like start with the the subject or like and then I gotta wait a long time to get the details of the sentence yeah. you know mm -hmm. and then because it will click to me that's like oh yeah so here's the train of thought uh, it was a train of thought. I started with this, and then it became this, and became this, and then this is what I told you. And we were still having a conversation about that first thing, <laughs> like just then. But he's already moved on. Let's talk about me, because I definitely have communication flaws too. So for me, I from the time I was a kid, I'm tongue-tied, and like literally, my tongue was tied down as a baby, and my mom didn't have it clipped. Cause like sad. cherry. <laughs> You know, cherry, like the stem of the cherry. You tongue, you tie it. <laughs> yeah, that's not it at all. So, <laughs> my tongue is like not moving the way it should, and I've had to work so hard to speak clearly. Mm -hmm. And I still struggle with it really bad, but imagine that, like, especially when we were first married, I'm mumbling all the time, and John's already having a hard time, like, catching my words, and then him with the stuff we talked about. And we were just. Boom. I just wish there's like a remote control that you can turn on the subtitle because that would definitely help me. It probably would. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Another thing is there will be times where uh, the argument will be like, it's like, no, you said this. Or at least, you know, she thinks that she said something, but she really said something else. But because I don't speak English, like, her assume he she assume he assume she she assume that she did say what she was thinking and I misheard it because of your record in the hit in the past <laughs> yeah. of not hearing me clearly. Yes. Oh, I understand. I understand the argument. I, I I understand that. But there are times that like I am a hundred percent sure that you said this. But because of my record, that wasn't the case, so we kind of argue about that. Yeah. So. Or sometimes words come out of your mouth that don't make sense, and you... It makes sense right here. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have gone far. Yeah. You know, we were just talking about this the other day. I don't know if it fits with the video, so you can decide later. Yeah. But I was talking to John and saying, you know, I imagined when I got... Sorry. We're like leaning towards you guys. Bye. <laughs> I assumed when I got married that, that that person would be like the person I'm at one with. Where I'm, we're totally on the same page. That we understand each other, we can finish each other's sentences, and we're just like so in tune with each other. You Instead, know? we just finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx! Jinx again! <laughs> oh! <laughs> But I think I've realized now, nine years later, that that'll never be us. We will always have to be patient with the way we both speak, and and I won't be able to assume what he's saying or read his mind. And so, luckily, we're on the same page in other ways, and we're really connected. And in the the main way that we we just talked about and realized the other day is like our feelings. Like I know how he's feeling at a lot of times, and you know how I'm feeling. Definitely, we are far. From be uh, far from being uh, the perfect Facebook couple, or I guess uh, we're in 2020, so Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we even have a Twitter. We don't even have a Twitter. <laughs> you know that's but that's the thing. That's the best thing about life. We just have to like adjust day by day. If you love somebody, you will do everything that you can to show that love to to them. Mm -hmm. uh, to, well, in my case, to Laura. And that's how we work out this interracial relationship that we have. And, 
you know, it's almost nine years and it's definitely a blast. And I'm sure we'll make a video really soon about all the things we had to adjust with in with our different cultures mm -hmm. because there there's a lot of fights and arguments that come come up because <laughs> of that. Yeah. And so that'll be a different video. But we just wanted to talk about how we communicate and really communication is more than words. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to say. It's like we've found that we communicate in other ways and and we're more in touch and in tune that way. Yep. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you guys are new, please click that subscribe button. Make sure that you guys uh, click the thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment. Um, we really, really appreciate uh, seeing where you guys are from. I mean, it is insane that, you know, like you guys are from all over the world. And that, that's so much fun and exciting. So, anyways. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs>